know why the Kardashian clan, Jenner clan, are not transparent about their plastic surgery? To me, if you're gonna nip and tuck, that's your choice. Why not be real about it? Educate people about the level of research they should do and how much of an investment that it is to get surgery done the appropriate way by accredited physicians, I don't even know if that makes sense, or by licensed physicians, by people who really specialize in this. You know what I'm saying? Um, I appreciate the Cardi B's out here. She's honest. Yeah, I got my butt done. Yeah, I got it done illegally in somebody's basement. And yeah, at any given point in time, something can happen to me where I may die. But that's the choice I made, and I'm telling you, don't do it. I can appreciate Cardi B's message, you know, because she's being real. I wish the Kardashians and Jenners with such a huge platform that they have would be honest about that. Let's keep it real. There are a lot of women out here and men really like busting their tails to get work done to look like and to emulate them, you know? And to me, it's like, we don't have that kind of money, folks. Most of us are not millionaires. They're like millionaires. We're not talking about two million, three million, like worth 30 million, worth 60 million, worth 50 million, like a lot of money. They're wealthy, right? And so what they can do is not what us average folks can do. And so the level of surgeries and procedures that they get is not what a lot of us could afford. And that's why I wish that they were really honest about everything. I'm not saying that they don't work out. There are a lot of people who will jumpstart you know, their workout journeys or their um, weight loss journeys, I should say, by getting plastic surgery. I've known people who've done this. They pay to get a tummy tuck, get plastic surgery to jumpstart everything. And then once they heal and the doctor clears them, they start working out heavily. So it's like, you know, let's keep it real. You know, I don't know that this is a show that I'll tune into, but I thought that the point that Wendy Williams was making, I kind of agree with her and I thought it was you know, blog worthy to discuss or vlog <laughs> worthy to discuss. Um, I also just finished catching up with uh, Housewives of Beverly Hills and the Real Housewives of Atlanta. As I always say, I'm a huge watcher of the Real Housewives franchise and I'm just continuously seeing how us women break each other down, tear each other down. It continues to sadden my heart. It doesn't matter what culture we are. It's not just the minorities. It's not just the black women. It's all of the women who kind of fall victim of tearing each other down. And I'm hoping that at some point in this world, we can get better at that. Um, I think the more that we're able to band together, as I always say, and realize there's strength in numbers and we can do more with each other, Maybe the world will be a little bit of a better place. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, so those are pretty much the shows I'm watching. I'm still watching How to Get Away with Murder with the Husband. I know we're late, but we are so plugged into this. It's a crazy show. The writing is phenomenal. I'm all about the whodunit kind of TV shows, and this doesn't disappoint. So as soon as I'm done watching the series, I'll probably also share my thoughts and feelings. Um, we're also, we also started watching um, the show Star, which is by Lee Daniels. I didn't watch it tonight because my husband and I have certain shows that we vow we will only watch with one another. And so that's one of them. How to Get Away with Murder is one and Star is another. And so Star started off with a bang the first episode. Last week's episode was eh. So we'll see how um, this third one is. Probably over the weekend, my husband and I will check it out. And I'm trying to think, is there anything else that I'm watching? I always watch The Real, the daytime talk show, The Real. I love that show. Um, and so they're still bomb to me. I use a, some of their clips as blog-worthy moments on the website. Um, I still watch Wendy Williams, of course. That's my girl. I've gone to her show a few times, literally. Been an audience member, her co-host. Shout it out. <laughs> woo, woo. <laughs> and so, you know, hopefully I can get some tickets this year. I took a break in 2016 because I had gone to the show like three times in 2015. And so I said, let me take a break. Um, I actually got tickets to go to the show last week, but my schedule just didn't allow me for, allow for me to go, sorry. And so, you know, I'll try to request some more tickets. Hopefully at some point this year, I'll be back in the audience with Wendy Williams, my girl. Have y'all ever read her books? Her books are pretty good. Um, 
But yeah, so I wanted to get on really quickly to kind of share some of uh, my shows that I'm into. Um, I try to balance the website so it's not all about thought-provoking, heavy stuff all the time. You know, yesterday I hit you guys with some of the essentials I keep in my kitchen. So this year I'm trying to do a better job of balancing things. I don't just want you to always feel like coming to my website is a therapy session. <laughs> um, but at the same time, I do believe that what kind of sets me apart is the fact that I am very passionate about controversial topics and us being honest with ourselves. You know, I had to sneak a little little bit of it in, even talking about um, Khloe Kardashian in, in Revenge Body, because it's like, own it. You've had plastic surgery done, allegedly. Own it. <laughs> it's okay. That's your choice. Don't feel badly about that if that's what you choose to do. But at the same time, let's not front for the cameras and for the public like you've acquired your body solely from working out because we know that that more than likely isn't true. So I can't help it. It's just so much a part of me. I got to own it. It's funny. My coworker who I work very closely with today, he told me, he said, yo, I've been thinking about a lot of the stuff that you talk about. And like, I take your advice with certain things. I love your perspective. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, you know, I, I always share my opinion about things, right? But at the same time, it's like to hear someone say that they actually appreciated my insight or my perspective on things, my advice at times, that like warmed my heart. So shout outs to you, you know, um, and I'm hoping that that's what this website does for you. Ultimately, we can have fun, we can laugh together, we could like jones to some good music together, but I also want you to feel encouraged and empowered and to hear or get a different perspective than what your own may be. You know, as well as I'm willing to hear you know, your perspective on a lot of things that I talk about, but I really want to be able to be of help to people out there, you know, so you kind of can figure out how to balance certain things in life. You know, I'm all about the balance, right? But even in like relationships and friendships and things of that nature, interactions, human being to human being, I think it's very important for us to be able to see past our nose, as I say, and to be able to understand and try at least try to understand or try to hear out someone else's perspective other than our own right we already know how we feel it shapes our moral compasses a lot of times it, it comes from you know how we grew up how we see the world i get that i feel very strongly about my opinions i do however i am very willing to hear someone else's truth and someone else's perspective in life because that helps me to have a broader um view of the world, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? It's not all about what Chanel feels and how Chanel feels about things. It's important for me to understand how my husband feels about things. It's important for me to understand how my mom, my dad, my brother, my niece, my nephews, my friends, you know what I'm saying? How other people, my coworkers, my supervisor, I need to have I need to be willing to understand how other people see the world and what their perspective is on things. It's not just about me and what I feel. Yes, I can have my narcissistic moments. I own it. <laughs> However, I do understand how impactful and important it is to, to see other sides and viewpoints in life. And if I could impart that onto you guys by sharing my perspective about certain things and being willing to hear from you and eager to hear what your perspective is, I think that's dope. And I'm hoping that that's what you walk away with when you visit Complex Simplicity, as well as feeling empowered and encouraged like, I love myself. I love who I am and who I'm becoming. I'm trying to figure out where I want to go in life. I want to have my own mind and perspective about things, right? Like, I want to know and believe that I'm worth everything and more. If you don't get anything else from my website, I'm hoping you get a couple of those things. 